Merge nodes are confusing, right? I recently got a question asking about some strange happenings when it comes to hooking up a merge node and background of the foreground and a mask. And so I thought, well, why don't we just do a little merge tips video? This is going to be really helpful, even if you're pretty familiar with Fusion and especially great if you're a beginner. Let's begin. Here we are in Fusion and we have some footage. Doesn't really matter what it is. And let's say we want to put something in front of this footage. Well, we would need a merge node. Easiest way to make a merge node is to select your background here and then just click on this merge button right here and that'll add a merge node after that node. Then whatever we want to put in the foreground, we can connect to this green input of the merge. So let's take some text maybe and I'll type in some text. Nice. Plug that in and now we have some text over our background. Look at us go. We're official compositors. But there are some strange things that will happen with a merge node if you're not careful. And here they are in no particular order. Sometimes you'll accidentally hook up this foreground to the blue input and you won't see anything. That's because we don't have any kind of foreground in the merge. And so the only thing that we're going to see over this background is anything that's connected to the foreground and nothing's connected to the foreground. So we don't see anything. So we want to make sure that we connect the output of our foreground into the foreground input of our merge. And now we see it. Another thing that I see happening a lot is somebody will take something like this ellipse, which I think is what the original question was asking about. We'll take this ellipse and plug it into the foreground. And now we just have a white circle over our background. What the heck is with that? I thought we were trying to mask things. Why is there a white circle? Well, the answer, my friends, is very simple. If I select this ellipse and I hit one on the keyboard, that's going to bring up the mask in our first viewer. So we're just viewing the result of this node. And you'll see there's a black background and a white circle over it. Because really anytime that we draw a mask, what we're really doing is drawing a black and white image. So we have this circle over this black background, but why doesn't merging this piece of media over our background look like a white circle on black? Well, that's because we have an alpha channel also. The alpha channel is the transparency of an image. And so we have our white circle and we have the rest of it cut out. Now, oftentimes what happens when I see people hooking this up this way is what they want to do is they want to limit where this background is to this circle. And you can do that in a couple different ways. The way that's probably most similar to this would be to just disconnect this from the merge and connect our media into our foreground, which is the green input like this, and then put this ellipse into the mask of the merge. But it's not going to show anything without a background. So we want to make sure we grab a background node and plug this into the merge node. A merge node won't show anything unless it has the background node attached. Okay, so now we zoom out and we have this mask limiting our footage right here. Because what we're doing is starting with this background, which is just a black background. And then we're putting this footage over the black background. And then we're limiting where this merge does its job to just be inside of this circle. If we move this circle around, it's going to merge this image over just inside of the circle. And this background, what I would often do is leave it black and take the alpha down like this so that we have clear video behind this little circle. And so this is great if you want to make, you know, a little circle camera thing or some kind of graphic effect. That's a nice way to do it. The other way that you could do this that doesn't really have to do with a merge is you could take your media in and run this through a mat control and take an ellipse and plug this into the garbage mat. And I can select this ellipse and invert that and we'll get the same result but we're not merging this over a background. What we're really doing here is we're taking our original footage and we're applying this mask to the footage later down the chain. So that's a way that you can do that if you don't want to mask your original footage. Of course, you could just plug this mask into the original footage and get a similar result. Same kind of thing. It kind of depends on if you want to use the full image at any point in your comp. For instance, if you wanted to do something like merge this footage over itself. I can make a merge like this, take the output of this and put it into the foreground. I could take this ellipse mask and run that into our merge. I'll just hold down alt and kind of drag out a little elbow here. And then we could do something like color correct just this part of the footage. And I can get some fancy effects that way because what we're doing is taking this original footage, color correcting it black and white, and then merging it over our original footage without the black and white filter on it, but we're just doing that merge right inside of this ellipse mask. So this is definitely a situation where you wouldn't want to put the ellipse on the media in because you wouldn't be able to get that kind of effect. You want to put it on the merge or in a matte control. The other thing that sometimes could happen that would throw you for a loop 
would be you might have the alpha channel selected in the viewer. So if I hit A, this turns white. And if you've ever done this, this is very frustrating. You're like, why is everything white? You view stuff on your viewer and you're like, gosh, just everything's white. Maybe I have a white circle. What is this? Well, sometimes you'll accidentally hit A on the keyboard, which switches you into this mode, alpha mode. If you go back to color, everything is back to normal. So yeah, there's some tips with the merge node. I hope that's helpful. I know these are like, it's a lot of little random tips, but man, can you get stuck on these things sometimes? If you like this kind of video, let me know by hitting the like button, leaving a comment down below. I like these little kind of explain things videos. So if you want more of that, tell me. And if you want to get a little bit deeper with Fusion, we have a course, whoosh, Pro Compositing in Fusion. It is available now at groundcontrol.film. Make sure to check that out. If you want to dive deeper into the nodage, the node, if you want to go to Nodeland and have adventures,